Oh no. That tree where Mike is standing was not here when we came through earlier. Enthusiastic after our Vermont bike packing trip, Mike encouraged Ian and I to do some fall gravel riding in our home state of Connecticut. Mike developed a plan that would take us on old roads in Mashamoqua Brook State Park, the Airline State Park Trail, a rail trail, and some single track trails in the James L. Goodwin State Forest. Mashamoqua Brook offers hiking, camping, and fishing. Named after the Mohegan word for a stream of good fishing, the park was once the domain of Mohegan Chief Uncas. From here we took the Wolf Den Drive and a half mile single track west to reach the Airline State Park Trail. Hill to start on. Thanks, Mike. It's hard to tell in this video, but this leaf covered road was very washed out and rutted, making this part of the ride pretty challenging. I think the hill is over yet, but it's almost level here for a little stretch of recovery. The park's most famous feature is the Wolf Den. The legend has it that on a night in 1742, Israel Putnam, later a major general in the Continental Army during the Revolutionary War, crept into the den and shot Connecticut's last documented wolf. That's all right. You all right? Yeah. It's good as make. Just trying to figure out how to get back on my feet now. Might help you, but I'm making some really cool video right now. <laughs> this is a long boardwalk. Mike, two and three quarters miles of rough stuff. How would you rate it? Um, it was pretty rough for a gravel bike and a bad mountain skills. Yeah, okay. Nothing about the hill, huh? Yeah, it's behind it. Yeah, he ran us through one hell of a hill there. I don't know, a thousand feet, a mile, something like that to warm up. 400 feet. 400 feet, yeah, okay. So I exaggerated a little bit. All right, we're on the airline trail now and we're heading south to uh, Goodwin uh, State Forest. What's the name of that pond there? Uh, Pine Acres. Pine, Pine Acres Lake or whatever. Should be smooth sailing. Connecticut's Airline Trail State Park stretches over 50 miles from the Massachusetts border in Thompson to the Connecticut River in Portland. The airline once offered the shortest route from Boston to New York. This was accomplished by cutting across the hilly terrain of eastern Connecticut before reaching Long Island Sound at New Haven, Connecticut.
seen here throughout this video. It was a windy fall day. He is going to lead us, right, Ian? Yeah, he's better tired. I know, but then I won't get any video of you. Follow the leader. I'll turn up. Road falls on each side. I'll put the rock in the middle of the road. This section of the trail was challenging with a fair amount of hike a bike. Governor's Island, we continued south on the scenic but challenging Blue White Trail. This body of water is identified as Pine Acres Lake or Pine Acres Pond, depending on which map you're looking at. Join the Airline Trail State Park and head back to Mashamoquitbook State Park. On our way back, we followed the Airline Trail north to Abington and some paved roads before re-entering the forest roads of Mashamoquitbook State Park. It was getting late and Ian had a deadline, so he charged ahead while Mike and I continued at a more leisurely pace. So we've decided to uh, run, uh, avoid that single track section and uh, take Route 44 back to Wolf Den. That tree where Mike is standing was not here when we came through earlier. That wraps up a beautiful fall gravel ride. We did 25 miles with an elevation gain of 1,300 feet. If you're interested in seeing the GPS track of our ride, check out the All Trails link in the description below. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you in the next adventure.